the thermal pile performs the same function as a thermocouple except has an, adi an additional function. It is powerful enough to physically open a gas valve on a call for heat. So that if I close the thermostat, that will uh, complete a circuit with the thermal pile as the power source and it will operate gas operated appliances. They originally were used uh, as controls for gas appliances many years ago because you didn't have to hook them up to electric power. You could have a completely isolated heating device and if the power went off, of course, it wouldn't go off. We still use them mostly in fireplaces for those same kind of reasons. They do not have to have power to operate. So if you wanted to heat when there was a power outage, they would operate okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and briefly demonstrate this thing, how it works. I've got a little torch there, thermocouple there, and I'm going to read the millivolts on the meter. Okay, you can see we're already up to 500. 500 is usually the open circuit minimum. This thing will probably go past 750 because uh, I got a really good heat source on it. Okay, you can see we're at uh, pretty close to 850 now, still climbing. We're going to call that good. And of course, if I shut off the uh, heat source, like that, you can see it immediately starts dropping as it cools. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tear apart this thermal pile and let's see what's inside it. Now this is what it looks like when it's taken apart. You see there's just a whole bunch of little thermocouples in there. Let me spread it apart and you can kind of see there's a wiring in the center but uh, each one of these is a thermocouple and so they're all just wired in series pretty much the simplest thing you'd ever think of now I'm gonna go ahead and warm up one of these thermocouples and let's see what the meter shows now you can see it's coming up Obviously, it's not coming up as uh, fast as it did when we had all of them together. And I think if we watch this thing, it's going to go up, but it's never going to be. It's not as powerful as a thermocouple, because a thermocouple can go to uh, 30 millivolts. It's only going to go probably about 7 max. If you'll note, we already have a red tip on that thermocouple. Probably not going to go up much higher than that. Anyway, that kind of gives you an idea of how the thermal pile works and why. That's it on this one.